Hey everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to be doing the Read My Country tag. This was created by Cook Read Create and I will leave her channel linked down below in the description. And I'm going to be doing this tag as part of the Irish Readathon. All the information for the Irish Readathon will be down below as well. And the first question is what country are you going to be talking about? And that is, of course, Ireland. <laughs> Next question is what is your favourite childhood book from your country? And the real standout book from my childhood is Roddy Doyle's um, Rover books. So I think there was like the Giggler treatment which is the most famous one. Um, Rover Saves Christmas and the Meanwhile Adventures. There might have been another one. They're about this, I think he's an Irish wolfhound, but it's about this dog called Rover. He sells his poo to these creatures called the Gigglers. And the Gigglers are kind of like, they're a bit like Cornish Pixies. That's how I remember them anyway. Like a bit like Cornish Pixies, but a bit more like, gnome-like? But yeah, it's about Rover and his family and the antics they get into. I think the dad works at a biscuit factory? I would really love to reread these books someday soon because obviously a lot of the details are escaping me but I just remember that they were a lot of fun. Um, I remember them being really really funny like I think we had a student teacher in one of my primary school classes and she read the Giggler treatment to us and we were just in stitches. It was so funny. So yeah that's probably the standout Irish book from my childhood. The next question is what is a book from your country that you read in school and I have a few answers for this. The one I remember remember from my like later primary school year so when I was about 11 I uh, was Under the Hawthorn Tree by Marita Conlon McKenna and I'm actually reading the two follow-up books to this this month but this was about the Great Famine in Ireland from 1845 to 1849 and it follows a group of children as they try to survive that really difficult time. It was the most heart-wrenching emotional experience I had ever had up to that point in my life and then in secondary school um, there were two books that stand out as Irish books that we read. The first of those was The Butcher Boy by Patrick McCabe. This was about a young boy who his mother was suicidal and his father was an alcoholic and the child had a lot of violent fantasies which began to manifest into reality. This kid does so many bizarre, horrible things. I remember reading it in school and we would stop reading certain sections and we'd all just be like, did did that actually happen? And also How Many Miles to Babylon by Jennifer Johnson, which I actually studied for the Leave Insert. Did I? Did I study that for the Leave Insert? It must have been for the Leave Insert. God, that was a while ago. But it's about these like two young teenage boys who are from very different backgrounds. One is from a very like well-off Anglo-Irish family. The other is from a farming family with a single mother and loads of kids. It's about the friendship that is formed between the two of them and what happens when the First World War breaks out and they go off to fight. The next question is what is a book that is set in your favorite part of your country? And to be honest with you, my favorite part of the country is Dublin. You know that makes me like a typical Dublin person who thinks Dublin's better than everywhere else in the country. The one book that springs to mind is The Gathering by Anne Enright and this is actually set really close to where I grew up. Like there are a lot of sections in this book where she's driving to the airport and it's like I have driven down that road that she is driving down to go to the airport. This is a book about a woman who is dealing with the grief that she's experiencing after her brother has died. This leads her on this journey of re-exploring her past, realizing a lot of things that she has repressed throughout her life and this is basically like the repressed Irish trauma book. Ireland has a lot of repressed trauma, okay? It just does. It's also dealing with the Celtic Tiger in Ireland, which is a was a really affluent time for Ireland economically. And it's just a fantastic book, so you should definitely read it. And the second part of this question is, what is a book that is set in a part of your country that you would like to visit? I haven't done a lot of Ireland traveling, which I think is a real shame and it is something I would like to rectify as I get a bit older. Because I've lived away for like four years, I've been to Donegal, I've been to Wicklow and Wexford, I really like Galway, I've been to Kerry, I've been to Sligo, I've been to Kilkenny, but I don't think I've ever been to Cork. And I've actually read quite a few books that are based in Cork and by quite a few I think I mean like two and that is Asking for It by Louise O'Neill and The Glorious Heresies by Lisa McInerney. So another book that I would like to read from Cork is the follow-up to that, 
The Blood Miracles by Lisa McInerney. I am reading this book this month, so you're gonna hear a lot of my thoughts on it, and I spoke about it in my TBR as well, but basically this is like train spotting, but Irish, and a more complex treatment of women. Next question is, what is a historical book that is set in your country? And for this, I'm gonna talk about Strumpet City by James Plunkett. This is a big old chunky book. This is set in Dublin in 1913, and it is based around the events surrounding the 1913 lockout, which was a time of Irish history where there were huge strikes. It was a massive industrial dispute between like 20,000 workers and 300 employers, mainly like dock workers and manual labourers. And Strumpet City features a whole host of different characters who are affected by this in different ways. We have the well-off Anglo-Irish families, but also the less well-off staff that they have. We have a young couple who are just starting off in life and keep having children. There's a priest, but basically there's loads of characters in this book. Like that kind of element of books like George Eliot's Middlemarch where you have like one town and loads of different characters from different backgrounds and experiences. And you also wanna learn a lot about Irish history, then you should definitely pick up Strumpet City. The next question is what is a classic book from your country? And I think the typical books that people think of when they think of Irish classic are like Dracula and the picture of Dorian Gray. I'm actually going to talk about a book that I don't own but it's like on my like wish list kind of TBR kind of thing and that is Castle Rackrent by Maria Edgeworth. This has like a bunch of claims to fame. It is like the first Anglo-Irish novel. Um, there's an argument for it being the first historical novel, the first big house novel, the first saga novel. So widely regarded as being the first novel to use an unreliable narrator. And I don't really know much about this novel other than it follows four generations of the same family, I think. But yeah, that is definitely an Irish classic that I would love to get to one day. Question eight is name a book from your country that you haven't read yet, but would like to, and I've kind of already answered that. But I haven't read any books by Deirdre Sullivan, so I haven't read um, Needlework or Tangleweed and Brine, and I know those are books that I'd absolutely love, but I haven't got around to those two yet. And question nine is who are some of your favorite authors from their country or some of your favorite books? Um, obviously Louise O'Neill and her three novels, uh, Only Ever Yours, Asking For It and Almost Love. I adored all of those books. I'm a big fan of Anne Enright, who I've mentioned previously. I've read The Green Road and The Gathering. Yeah, they are probably my two favourite Irish authors. I do really like Oscar Wilde as well. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there, um, because I'm at the end of the tag and also my battery on my phone is really quickly dying. I am gonna tag my three co-hosts. I'm gonna tag Jessica, Stephen and Aoife and any other Irish booktubers that would like to do this tag. Do let me know down below if you have any thoughts on any of the books that I've mentioned, if I've piqued your interest in any of them. Let me know down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.